John is in Brighton. John, good evening. What's your question? Good evening, Daniel. Um, I made a uh, subject access request to an ex-employer, um, made several uh, attempts to get this information. They ignored me. I then reported them to the ICO. They also ignored them. I'd like to sort of know if I can sort of sue them, to penalise them for ignoring all this or maybe, because it's inconvenient for me, to be honest. Right. What's, what's your employer done, John? Uh, what they've done is I wanted information uh, from um, from them about uh, for uh, self employment for to do my tax returns and uh, they haven't given me this information. That was specifically what I was. Uh, you mean after. you want to know what they've paid you? That's it, basically. Yeah. Can't you look on your bank statement? Sorry, I know that's not an answer, but that's just a practical, common sense thing to do. No, but I don't. They haven't paid me, so I don't know what. Uh, um, uh, uh, the last um, the pay, pay salaries, you know. I just want to know what that I understand. was. Uh, yeah. Are you uh, are you on a commission or are you, are you on an hourly rate? Uh, yeah, I, see, I can't remember what the hourly rate was because it was. Yeah, but just uh, just answer the question: Are you on a commission yeah, no, I, I, or are you I, I, on an I, hourly no, rate? Not commission, hourly rate. Yeah, yeah But you can't rate, remember yeah. what the hourly rate was. No, no. Can't it's you look at previous what... times you've been paid, or was this just a one-off job? It was a one-off. Yeah. Is there a signed no. contract that sets out the hourly rate? Um, I'm sure there is, but I can't even find that. But so that's why it. I want this information. Okay. You know. Well, you're, you are, <clears throat> excuse me, you are, of course, entitled to it. I'm not sure the subject access request is the best way to go about it, although I'll come back to what to do about yeah. that in a moment. The best way to go about it is simply to write to them, say you've uh, not been paid, and then issue a claim for unpaid monies in the small claims court. And as part of the small claims procedure, they will have to disclose the information about what hours you've earned and what your hourly rate is in order to allow the judge to work out how much you're owed. Uh, the other thing I would do is I would try your very best to remember what your hourly rate is and what was agreed. Uh, put that in the claim form, multiply it by the number of hours. And if you've put too high a rate, and I'm not telling you to do that deliberately, but if you put too high a rate, their defence will probably be, actually, John's rate was only £12.50 an hour rather than yeah, uh, if yeah. you put something higher in. <laughs> and that'll give you the answer. Um, but th th So that's the way I'd handle it. But coming back to your question, the subject access request, employers and all individuals uh, normally have one month to respond to a subject access request. If they don't, you complain to the Information Commissioner's Office. Uh, there's not really a freestanding claim you can bring in the courts. And anyway, it's a red herring. Your claim's for the wages, not for the failure to comply with the subject access request. And uh, the Information Commissioner's Office is terribly, terribly understaffed uh, and underfinanced. And they tend to focus on big information breaches not somebody trying to get some information out of an ex-employer uh, over a few hundred pounds which I'm, is what I'm guessing this amount of money is I'm not yeah, saying it's yeah, unimportant yeah. John but it's not high up on the information commissioner's office's list of priorities they will get there they will get to enforcement but it will take months and months before they do I'd issue oh, a yeah, yeah. the small claims court yeah, that's what they basically said. I did the subject access request and then I uh, complained to ICO and they said we've written to them and telephoned them and they ignored them. There's nothing else we can do. And as you just said, it, they're, they're after bigger fish and uh, they said take them to court. Yeah. So, um, but you, you're, you suggest that I do a small claims for X amount of um, uh, money um, that I think I'm owed and they'll, and the, the ex-employer will say, hey, wait, you do, we don't owe you that, that amount of money. Is that basically what you said there? Well, uh, yes, but try and put what you think is the right amount. And if <clears throat> they'll either not put in a defence at all, in which case you can go straight to enforcement and potentially send in bailiffs, uh, or they'll put in a defence and say why they say they don't owe you money or how much they say they owe you. That That's the way to handle it, John. And again, it's going to take some weeks, if not months, to sort it out, but you'll get there in the end. Uh, John, good luck with that, but I, I think it is a fairly straightforward process, and you issue a small claim, by the way, at moneyclaimsonline.gov.uk. 